come. See you. I am very interested right, to see his Venom. Good. Now, are you familiar with the workings of this matchup? Um, I'm familiar with each character, but not exactly how they interact. Um, so, in order to successfully parry things when Viking is waking up, um, she's going to first of all need a hard read that he's going to do a mid-level attack, so not a low. And then she's going to need to hold the parry in order to parry both the incoming projectile and the dashed attack afterwards. Sayo taking a quick first round there, it's looking pretty good. Oh, oh okay, I, th I think I get it, because the thing with the, the balls is Venom does not even need to be near Viking at all. Yes. So he's going to have to approach, and that would play in well for Venom. Y'all hit six feet. He has here, bud. There's the throw. Big pickup. Oh. He got crossed up there, but yeah, it's just... Really, to see how Venom can keep Viking out, because once Viking's in, it's hard for Venom to get someone off. Yeah, very much so. Oh. And and also another thing was Venom. Me, correct me if I'm wrong, is that he he tries to get some trades here and there too when he's close. He's got a few decent buttons that are really good on trade. But do you see what I'm talking about with the with the ball into the dash at, or like the air dash high low? He's, he took a pretty solid first game off of off of Memo. I think the ball is like almost kind of almost like kind of like Piper, but doesn't stay there. <laughs> so I know that it hits. But like you, you have to take it. Yeah. Another interesting thing to ooh, that's a big counter hit. Didn't quite air throw. Wow, wow, wow. where'd that air come from? I don't know. He was just ready. He's got it, but Venom's air throw is crazy. Venom also has one of the best 6Ps in the game. It is... I want to say it's above knees in ball, uh, for the first 7 frames. And then they add the buff where they, he can actually cancel it. Yeah. Oh, oh. But ooh, he yeah, starts the parry and quickly reverses early. He's in the corner now, so now what's Seal gonna do to get out? Big damage. He's gonna keep ooh, overhead. Got him with the instant overhead. Overhead, Yozansa. Oh, he woke up with Blitz. Oh, he gets perfected. Alright, so very yeah that that match was very quickly turned around. Sai is gonna stick with Venom. I wouldn't have been surprised if he swapped back to Soul. I think he needs to play a lot more patiently in this matchup. He needs to fill the screen up with projectiles and then work on anti-airing and air throwing. Exactly like that. Get a knockdown, set the ball. See that 6P. Look at how much damage that was. And look, that's another perfect. Ah, yeah. uh, it's not perfect. Yeah, and look at Memo. You certainly had the momentum like it was a perfect. Memo looks to be a little lost when it comes to the uh, yes. on defense against the Oki when the ball's coming out on his wake up. His most success has been from pressing parry and then just pressing follow ups. Not really. Oh, there's the throw. Going to get a knockdown and some damage and a setup. All right, so this is going to be bad because he's going to get a charge ball and then he's going to revolve him and these but he's just going to be in this corner for a while. Dead but angles out. Dead angles out. <laughs> Ooh, counter hit. Six Ps. Ball set up. Him. He's going to take oh, this. Oh, throw tag. There's, there's the throw. More setups. More... More balls. That's a lot of chip damage. He's gonna try and bait out the burst here. There, and oh. there it is. Old burst. No, no. Oh. Someone got a free release on life there. Definitely over, but there it is. Gets caught air to air. 
I think, yep, that's it. Sayo takes it over Memo. Memo is eliminated from the tournament. Sayo moves on to winner's finals? That was losers. Oh, yeah, sorry, losers finals. I do. Let me check the bracket.